Hi, my name is Andy Ingemels and I'm a composer. This is one of my pieces. It is inspired by Chris Burden, who is my favourite performance artist. In 1979, he performed a piece called Send Me Your Money, in which he repeatedly asked radio listeners to imagine sending him money during a live broadcast. You can listen to a recording of his performance online by going to www.ubuweb.com and searching for Send Me Your Money. It is the fourth search result down from the top of the page. My piece is an interactive piece. If you would like to take part, please insert a coin into the slot beneath this screen. You don't have to do this right away. In fact, it might spoil the piece if lots of people try to insert coins all at once. Unfortunately, I am unable to return your coins, but perhaps you might consider this as an expression of personal support for my work. I don't have very much money, and so I thought this might be a good way of getting paid for a piece. Usually I lose money through my work, and so I work also as a music copyist to supplement my income. This involves copying out handwritten music into a computer program, then making parts which can be read by performers if it is an ensemble piece. It is not a bad way to make money, because I can do it in my own home whilst listening to the radio. And it is surprising how many composers are still unable to use score processing software. So I am kept very busy. But it would also be nice to earn money from my compositions. I know that collecting people's loose change seems like a lengthy way of making money. But if this piece is displayed lots of times, then hopefully a lot of people will contribute. Maybe you could experiment with the coins that you have in your pocket by inserting several coins of different values to see if coins of a higher value make a different sound to coins of a lower value. It seems strange that it is so difficult to earn money as a composer, but perhaps I would make more money if I didn't make pieces such as this one, which involved purchasing expensive materials. From a financial point of view, it would be better to just write music with a pen and paper. I'm not trying to make a point here about commercial music versus non-commercial music. I would just like to make a little bit more money. If I was able to earn more money, then I think I would spend it on making more performances. Performances involving travelling to nice places. It would also make me feel like a real composer, like a professional. If I could earn more money, then I would be able to spend much more time writing music, which would make me much better at writing music, and I would therefore write better pieces. So the more money I made, the better my work would be. I'm sure that you would like to feel that you have helped me to achieve this goal by inserting a coin into the slot beneath this screen. By helping to improve my financial situation, you will have also contributed to improving the quality of my work. And if you come to see another one of my pieces, you will notice the improvement. I like this idea, because it gives me a feeling of having a direct connection with you, the audience. I know that there are other ways of raising money for musical and artistic projects, such as crowdfunding websites like www.crowdfunder.com. But I don't feel they are as personal as writing a new piece of work in which I ask you, the audience, for money. Would you rather receive an email from me asking for money, or would you prefer to see and listen to a new piece of work? Of course, there is no obligation to put your money in this box.
but it would be a great help to me and would go a little way to improving the quality of my work. Money can sometimes be quite a difficult subject to talk about. I know that some people are uncomfortable talking about money. I am quite uncomfortable about talking about money myself, which is why I have made this video, in order to avoid talking about it in person. Perhaps you think that I am going to speak about recent events in the financial world in order to make this piece topical or relevant to current affairs, but I don't want to make the piece sound dated in the future. I want to be able to reuse this piece for several years in the hope of making much more money. I would like to add that I am not in poverty, I am not suffering and am very comfortable and happy in my life but I would like to have more money. Charity appeals on television are an inspiration for this piece. Adverts for charities like Oxfam and the NSPCC and the ones that ask for a monthly donation to send aid to third world countries. I have found that the music in these appeals is very sentimental, often using lots of string instruments. I initially wanted to make an arrangement of Why Does My Heart Feel So Bad by Moby, which is commonly used in such adverts. I will now sing the song for those who are not familiar with it. Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? These open doors Does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Nothing.
tasmaat feels so bad what does my soul feel so bad but I was worried about just using someone else's music because I wouldn't feel like a real composer. Besides which, the song just isn't long enough for this piece. I also thought about using Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber, which is used to great effect in the films Platoon and The Elephant Man, underscoring emotionally charged scenes. However, this piece is also not long enough. So instead, I used one of my own compositions to accompany the piece. The piece is called Ready Made No. 153 and was originally performed on flute, French horn and cello. The score was indeterminate. Each player had a single line of pitches and they were required to play each pitch for the length of one breath or one bow for the cello. It was performed at a theatre in Edinburgh, and I recorded the performance, transcribed what was played, then wrote the music out for string quartet. The result is not quite as emotionally charged as Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings, but the intention here is not to manipulate your emotions, but to encourage you to insert a coin into the slot beneath the screen. Perhaps you are finding this piece quite repetitive, but I think a parallel can be drawn between the repetitive nature of this piece and the repetitive nature of charity appeal nights on television, such as Comic Relief and Children in Need. Perhaps you think that there is a lot of text in this piece and are finding it difficult to concentrate. It is okay to lapse in and out of concentration, but I will remind you again that this is an interactive piece. If you would like to take part, please insert a coin into the slot beneath the screen. My inspiration for this piece also came from the large donation boxes that used to be in the Tate Modern Turbine Hall a few years ago. They were rectangular and made from transparent pieces of plastic, just like this box. Inside, there were lots of shapes made from pieces of coloured plastic which made the coins bounce around inside on their way down to the bottom of the box. These donation boxes were more elaborate versions of the fun-looking charity boxes found in shops and leisure centres and other public places. I suppose the idea is that people will enjoy donating money if their coins do something interesting once they have been inserted into the slot. Some of the boxes, I remember, used to make the coins spiral round and round as they descended. I wanted to make a piece that would be equally interesting to put money into. However, instead of coloured plastic, I decided to use pieces of junk or found material. I attend a lot of contemporary music concerts and have noticed that many composers write percussion music using found objects. I have seen percussionists playing music on metal pipes, metal sheets, sandpaper, car horns, cacti, rocks, pieces of tree bark, basketballs, footballs, table tennis balls, glasses, pieces of broken glass, A4 paper, newspaper, wallpaper, polythene bags, cutlery, saucepans, pens, bottles, fruit, tables, chairs, water, fire, bicycle pumps, scissors, plastic, mobile phones, light bulbs, lampshades, and all sorts of other materials. So I thought that I ought to make my own piece using found percussion. This is it. I thought it would be nice to invite you, the audience, to play the percussion part. 
So all you have to do is take a coin from your pocket or wallet or purse and insert it into the slot beneath this screen. If you do this, then you may consider yourself a percussion player in my piece. You can tell your friends and relatives that you have played percussion in a piece by Andy Ingemars. Thank you for watching and listening to this piece. If you have donated money, then thank you for your contribution. I hope that you enjoyed performing in the piece. If you have not donated any money, I hope that you do not feel excluded and that it did not spoil your enjoyment of the piece. Thank you.